Joining us now is Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut. He's a member of the House Intelligence Committee, and his district includes Stamford. Congressman, good evening. Good evening, Joshua. One of the findings of the report was that there was no evidence that the Russians had sought to blackmail Mr. Trump or his campaign team. It also found that Paul Manafort conducted influence operations that supported and were a part of Russia's active measures campaigns, including those involving political influence and electoral interference. What do we do, Congressman, with this information, especially in light of the fact that we already kind of took a swing at this with the Mueller investigation? Yeah, well, um, first off, obviously they didn't seek to blackmail Donald Trump. Um, the reason they did everything they did, the Russians, in 2016, of course, was to elect Donald Trump. And you ask a forward-looking question. I mean, the first thing we need to do is, and anybody can do this, you can go on the website of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, and you can see a release of a week ago by Bill Evanina, um, who is the official charge of these things, who says that they're doing it again, that the Russians are not just interfering uh, in our election, but they are doing it in the service of re-electing Donald Trump. Uh, and that's the forward-looking answer to your forward-looking question. Look, you know, we've been through, ever, since the Mueller report, of course, we, we had the Ukraine misbehavior and the impeachment and the acquittal in the Senate. But it is worthwhile uh, remembering that the Trump senior campaign people, most of whom today are either in jail or on their way to jail, invited and assisted uh, Russian interference. And Bob Mueller said that it didn't rise to the level of a chargeable conspiracy. Um, but the notion that these folks sought and collaborated in an effort to well or even welcome Russian interference. Remember, the president himself said, said uh, the president himself said, uh, Russia, if you're listening. Uh, release the emails. And back to the forward-looking thing, Americans need to understand that this is happening again. And, and apart from everything else we need to do at the governmental level, Americans need to remember that they may be actively being manipulated by Russian uh, propaganda. Well, with regards to that, the acting secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, was on CNN this morning talking about the ongoing threats. Here's part of what he said. There's never been any issue from my perspective, I'm bringing up any issue uh, with the president to include Russia, to include the ele election security and the election security efforts the department's doing uh, every day to keep uh, our elections safe and secure. And the president accepts that Russia is trying to interfere in the election again. Well, again, I'll, uh, uh, to uh, my knowledge, absolutely. There was a lot of hemming and hawing in that answer, Congressman. What do we do about Russia this time around? We knew that they were going to try to interfere in the 2020 election again. The Mueller report said so. Robert Mueller was very fervent on that when he testified before Congress. What do we do? Yeah, so what do we do? Um, there's at least two or three things we have to do. Number one, um, our intelligence agencies and, and folks like the NSA and the Department of Defense need to do what they have learned to do well, which is to watch very carefully and perhaps interfere with attempts by the Russians to, uh, to, to influence our elections. Uh, that's number one. Number two, we need to make sure that the basic functioning mechanics of our system do in fact function. And of course, I'm just back from Washington, D.C., where we were working on the post office, but it's not just the post office, right? It's individual registrars of voters and local election people. And Joshua, maybe most important, uh, it's what I said uh, to your last question. Americans need to understand, and go back and look at the Russian Facebook ads that they purchased or the Twitter ads. They need to understand that if they see something on social media that really fires them up, that causes steam to come out of their ear and their hair to catch fire, they need to step back and say, I'm an American citizen, and I have an obligation to be a little bit critical about what I'm saying, because this is not about me being angry. This is about me having the information I need to make an impo important and good choice. Well, can I, I'm, sorry, so, I'm sorry to interrupt, but can I jump in on that point in terms of being yeah. critical? Because uh, Twitter placed another warning on one of the president's tweets in which the president wrote, quote, so now the Democrats are using mail drop boxes, which are a voter security disaster. Among other things, they make it possible for a person to vote multiple times. Also, who controls them? Are they placed in Republican or Democrat areas? They are not COVID sanitized. A big fraud, unquote. There is so much wrong with those tweets. I don't even have time to break into them. With regards to this, it, it sounds like the most important thing that we need to do as voters is learn not to hyperventilate 
over some things that we see online is to just be grown ups and let our anger pass and then get back in our brains and decide who we actually want to vote for. Is that too much to be asking of the American <laughs> people right now? Well, that's kind of what I was getting at, Joshua. I was, I was sort of getting at that, right? If it makes your hair light on fire, uh, you know, step back uh, and reflect on whether it's true. Now, look, the, 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 you know, this president from day one has been about misinformation, right? We're already seeing treatments being approved by the FDA that may not have, uh, you know, effect. The president was out there suggesting that maybe you want to inject uh, disinfectants into your bloodstream. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And look, America doesn't need to hear that from a Democrat. But what America does need to realize is that what you see online is not necessarily true. Um, and, and, and by the way, that holds for both sides. They need to be critical. But most importantly, look, the whole point of the president's activities here are to make you believe, you as the American citizen, that your vote may not count. It may not get counted. It may be in some drop box somewhere. He wants people to feel that way because to get reelected, he needs fewer, not more people to vote. So if I could leave you with one thought, people need to understand that their vote is probably the most important thing they're going to do in 2020. Yeah, I got to be careful of those things that make your hair catch on fire. I used to be good at getting away from the things that made my hair catch fire. And look at me now. Congressman Jim Himes of Connecticut, appreciate you being with us, sir. Thanks very much.